Welcome back everyone. Storm here. I enjoyed the first episode. I know nothing about this show, but I have seen The Walking Dead, Dead City, Daryl Dixon, and The Ones Who Live. A lot of you have been asking me to watch this series, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen in this episode because the apocalypse, Doomsday, is not here yet, um, but I think it's really darn close. So maybe a, they heard the news and just left, or a walker got in, or someone tried to leave. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, <gasps> we is still there. And is he... Ah! That's a horrifying intro. Desert? Yeah, it'll be okay. Desert. We'll be safe. Alicia, where the hell are you? Oh. Listen, we got Nick. We're coming to get you. I need you to pack some things for us. Load up some groceries, okay? No, I can't. We're going out of town. What? No, I can't. Why? What's wrong? He's sick. He's really sick. Who? Who's sick? Matt. His fever's like 103. What's wrong? I tried to get him in the bath, but he, he hurts when I touch him. Uh, don't, don't touch him. Alicia, move away from him. What's wrong with you? People are getting sick. It could be contagious. If he has it, I have it. Alicia. You don't know. Can, can I talk to him? Please. Come on, come on. He got bit. He couldn't even say that. What are you doing? I mean, getting bit by someone. It's a huge deal. I would that'd be the first thing I would tell someone. Is that how it happened? I mean Calvin was shot. It was it wasn't like it wasn't like this. Mm hmm How crazy you get both get Alicia. surprises what are you talking in about? second episode. I'm gonna call nine one one from the car. Listen to me. He's so brave to say this. I love you too. That's why you gotta go. It's one thing knowing that you're gonna die from this virus from being bit, but he doesn't know that, but you gotta go. he knows it's not good. Go. Oh, I like him so much. That's sad. Of that fog going around. Ton of food. So, we'll see you. Okay, okay, thanks. Yeah. Peter's got the right idea. Mm hmm. I know, it's like, you don't know what kind of virus this is, so coffee might mean something. Where is everybody? Hmm. Call me if you're gonna be longer. Not longer. Go without me. I hate it when people separate. Something like this. I couldn't do it. All go together. You can just jump in the back of the pickup truck at this point and just lay low. <laughs> oh. Uh, Nick is really hurting right now, and I just need you to oh, call he's in the withdrawal. prescription so I can pick it up. But I'm really worried about him, and I think he really, really needs it. <sighs> We're gonna get your medicine, okay? Mark will be leaving the worst he can. I know. I'm aware. He won't be able to travel. Alicia. Uh oh. Oh my god. 
Oh, he's back. Let me see. Tobias. Can I have my knife back? He went all the way back to school for that. He probably couldn't get home. This is so dangerous. It does look so bad. It's Okay, hear that. Go back. Oh no, he's seizing up. Oh no. You were gonna leave. Holy crap. Holy crap. I know her too. You think I'm lying to you? We gotta find him. It's not safe. This virus is going around the shooters the past few days. It's it's connected. It's what are you talking about? Did you see what happened on the on the freeway last night? I studied till two. We passed out. Well, people are getting sick. They, they, they get sick and they get violent. And the cops shoot them. I've seen it. You know what I've seen? Nothing. It's getting worse. Well, I don't know what to tell you. The less you go out, the less chance you get exposed. He knows a lot. <laughs> gonna hear one on there <gasps> holy crap oh that is scary <gasps> and you know where it is or it could be a different one it's noisy God. I heard you coming back. Oh. We, we, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, crap. And so it begins. Artie, can you hear me? He can't hear you. No, he can't. I need your help, Artie. No, you're not. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna kill him. It's frustrating, but that's a oh, that's a normal reaction. You learn fast in the head. Oh no, he's gonna get it. Oh no, I hope he doesn't get it. Not Tobias. Come on! Oh! 
And they just keep coming. That sucks, but good job. I love how real they look. They're so fresh. Are they going to be corrals? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, they're all going to go crazy. There you go. They're going to... Holy crap. She's already dead. It's terrible. Oh my gosh, now they're going to stay separated. Oh no. I mean, they have to, they have no choice. You are jerks. Like, this is so terrifying because this would happen. Is there anywhere else they can escape? Like a back door? She's been through so much, but I'm just still shocked that of everything she witnessed, experienced, did, like, she's not freaking out. I mean, she just killed her friend. Ooh, yeah, the perfect mask for your parents. <laughs> Yeah, being in the city is terrible. Hey. She tried to leave. Hmm. Okay. And now she's gonna freak out. <laughs> so she was staying strong for the kid. Where are you, your Eliza's? Find him the, the meds? Uh, yeah. Uh, I got him enough, you know, to wean him off. I mean, to take him to the desert and just wean him off. Crap. Which house? What was that? What no, was okay. that? Tell okay. me what it's that okay. was. It's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Look, Maddie, I want you to go. Go to the desert. Now. Don't wait. No. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm gonna wait for okay, you. Okay, I don't know how long we're gonna be. Just go ahead. We'll catch up. We'll find you. Okay? Just I should have never separated, what? but what do you do? Maddie? You're lucky to get that call. Oh, God. Don't go out. So that guy walking across, yep. <gasps> oh no! No, 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 Mr. Dawson's hurting them! Oh gosh, she's gonna be eaten. This is why you need to talk to each other. My adrenaline is like... <laughs> so high right now that was a good episode it was very frustrating but it's chaotic I mean what do you do in that situation and I get why decisions were made like Travis needed to find his son Chris and help him but of course everyone's separated um, but again we know what's going on but they don't so I'm living in the moment with them. They don't understand like that they're dead yet. Like they finally are starting to get it. They're learning or seeing 
or I should say discovering things a lot faster here than The Walking Dead. But again, they're different experiences, completely different location, different people. And finding out, you know, seeing these bites, they realize that like they're dead and they're killing them, or at least like it was hard for her to kill Artie and I felt really bad. You know, Tobias knows so much. He's just so wise and he read up, I guess, a lot on what could happen in the apocalypse and any kind of disaster and what people will do and what you should do to survive. For her to try to help Artie at first and, you know, be like, okay, we're going to get you help, we're going to get you help, and then immediately kill him right after. I mean, there were so much, like so many stages of The Walking Dead early on that we slowly discovered. And then there were other times where they saw like, oh, well, you know, was that person bit? Like, how did they change? It's interesting to see people coming down with the fever. We saw Matt was bit, unfortunately, and Artie, did we see that he was bit? He had blood on him, but I kind of wonder, because we really don't know much about this virus. We, we don't know, I mean, we know what happens when they turn, like that's it. The person's soul isn't there anymore. They're not that person anymore. But here I feel like you keep hearing more and more about this virus and you know, how did it start? You know, we know from a bite, you can, you know, get infected by the walker's blood. If you use a weapon, stab the walker and stab a human, someone alive, then you can infect them. But here it seems like the virus turned or like you actually get sick. Like some people were actually just getting sick and then dying from this virus and then turning without being bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's still the same. It is the same idea, but I'm wondering if we're learning more, discovering more in this story that it did start off as a cold or some kind of um, virus where you have like a really bad fever to the point where you die uh, without being bit first. Like you don't have to be bit first. But yeah, it's really getting out of control now. And with this riot taking place, you're going to have dead people there, more dead people. So you're going to have a lot more walkers in the area. And a city is the worst place you can be. You know, I mean, we have more resources in the city, but heck, good luck trying to get out of there. And now Travis being separated from Maddie, and even Maddie being separated for a while. Um, and Alicia trying to leave. It was just very frustrating. Like, everyone's so desperate. No one knows what's going on. And again, one of those situations, what would you do? I mean, I think I would stay with the family I found and I would try to stay as a unit and get to a goal, you know, if we need to find more family. But you know phones are going to go down, that roads are going to be blocked. I mean, and it's hard to say because I know Tobias was very confident. He knew exactly what was going on and he was right, but it's still hard because you don't fully know and just kind of being like, okay, let's kill this guy because he's dead. He's definitely dead. You know, they killed Artie. It's so just heavy stuff. I mean, like, and, it, and it's hard to, like, make those decisions. Like, what really is right? Because it's so early on to be like, yeah, he's definitely dead. I mean, Herschel, look how long it took him to believe that his loved ones were not coming back. Like, when they turned, they were, they were gone. They weren't they were dead. It's just a lot of information very quickly and hard decisions are being made and I get survival, but I'm just impressed with how quick they commit to, you know, being like Artie has to die. He's attacking this kid. She's known him for so long, but I'm happy that like after she did kill him because he was a big threat. I get that, you know, uh, she broke down finally when she got home because she's been so stone cold. Like, you know, she cares. And again, she's been through so much. I can't even imagine like her working through this with her son, you know, with his addiction, that she kind of just put up a guard. She has a wall up um, and she tries to act calm and tough around people. And, um, you know, for her to stay like that after she killed Artie, I was just very surprised, you know, but I, I, I get it. Um, yeah, so I like this kind of beginning. I mean, it's terrible. So many are gonna die. Um, you expect that, of course. Yeah, and I'm, I'm curious, like, how long we're going to just stay. Are we going to get a lot of time jumps, or are we just going to stay in this moment for a while? Um, and them trying to survive the beginning of the apocalypse, because eventually the show has to turn into something like The Walking Dead, where everyone's very familiar with the walkers, and, you know, you just, you're just following another family, and, and there's a group of people in a different part of the world. 
or in the U.S. But yeah, so um, can't wait to see the next episode. I hope they all can meet up, but I think that's going to be like uh, an arc now where they're all going to try to find each other, but it's definitely not going to be in the city. So they want to go to the desert. I'm sure a lot of other people are thinking that as well now. Here's a question for you. Would you tell your neighbors the discoveries you found out? Would you tell them the information that you know in a disaster? That's a very basic question because what kind of disaster? Could that threaten your family? Immediately what I think, I would totally tell my neighbors, but not knock on their door and be like, hey, like if it was a desperate situation where every second counted, I knew bad crap was coming, that's, you know, the dead or, or, or a bomb was going to be dropped or, or something like that was going to happen and every second mattered and I had to get out of there. Like if someone was out in the open, I'd be like, you got to get out of here. There's something terrible coming and try to spew it as much as I can. But it's easier said than done. So, I, you know, it's hard to say what you would do in that situation because if you cause panic and you don't really know what's happening, you can actually cause injury, cause death. Like you can, you know, make things worse than they really are, not knowing a situation fully. But again, they really saw a lot, seeing the dead, the cow coming back over and over again and them just trying to kill them. And, you know, uh, so it, it's tough. So their neighbor having a birthday party and kind of like, oh, okay, I get not getting involved with that because they're focused on their family and trying to get out of there and it just makes it feel real where it's like what do you do in that situation so i would definitely try to inform as many as i as i could but it just all depends on what's happening like i wouldn't want to intentionally keep it a secret but i won't go out of my way to knock on people's doors and be like hey you know you really should be packing up because most times if people are clueless on what's going on Again, they didn't learn this from the news right away. Um, it's all through experience. It's like people won't believe you. You might start fighting with your neighbors. You never know what's going to happen. So it just really gives you that rush of like, holy crap, like just get out of there, um, get resources, get food and, you know, things that you take for granted. Here, Maddie's like, oh, we don't need canned goods when, when Tobias was taking all those, you know, all the cans. Um, she's like, we got food at home, but yeah take what you can so Tobias had the right idea so I'm curious if he's gonna be part of the show for long I think he's gonna probably outlive most of the characters I've seen so far in the show <laughs> um yeah so and Chris I know he don't know much about any of the characters yet but Chris he was kind of annoying but he's naive he's a kid and he had a rush of being in with a group of people he saw a homeless guy get murdered and I get it I mean they thought it was injustice they thought this this guy was innocent and the cops were being brutal it's terrifying when you have a riot like that like it, or easily turned into a riot um, it's just very dangerous and you have a lot of people together they can get really stupid quick so it's just a very dangerous situation to be in but I'm glad Travis is an awesome dad again he stays calm and he did the right thing going to find his boy what do you do? You know, trying to escape, you couldn't get out of there. And how quickly people just started trashing the city. You know, him, thank God that he found a good family to let them stay at their restaurant slash house. I mean, whew. I just hope there's a back door that they can escape eventually because uh, the more they stay there, the worse it's going to get, you know, because now they're going to have the dead to deal with um, if that comes next or someone else is going to take over like the cops or whatever but they might not care about it's going to get so bad that the cops might not even care about who's left over there and they might like just try to take you out because everyone's so scared so there's going to be a lot of dangers anywhere you go but hopefully they get out of the city soon because that's like probably the worst place you could be right now so anywho guys can't wait for the next episode can't wait to hear what you have to say about it thank you so much for watching with me again and i'll see you soon as always bye guys